Hey guys, so today we are changing our oil on our 2014 Ford Taurus. This is the limited edition. Um, so to start off with a couple of the basic tools and necessities that you will need are going to be gloves are optional. Um, you will need your oil pan or your oil uh, container to catch it. Uh, you will need a 15 millimeter wrench. Um, your creeper is optional. That's just for the comfort of oneself. You will need some jack stands. I decided to just put them um, right on the front here. So same thing with the other one. Um, and you will need your device to pull your oil filter off. Um, you will need a small jack. Um, this is only a two ton. Um, you're gonna need your oil. This takes six quarts of oil, 5W20. Um, and that is honestly about it. I will go ahead and show you where uh, your oil drip or oil screw is at and your filter and we'll go ahead and start this process. Okay, so now we're going to locate our oil filter, which is right in front of the oil pan next to your muffler. Here are your headers. So, and your There's your oil screw there. So, as you can see, it's just right in the same vicinity of your oil filter. And then your oil screw is right over here. Right there. So, don't forget to Put your oil catch container right underneath your oil removal screw before you uh, start to drain the oil. Um, that's a very important part. Uh, I choose to go ahead and drain uh, the oil pan first and then go ahead and do the filter. Alright, I got my screw off. Make sure you have your container open so it allows it to drip all the oil inside the container. This is how your screw is going to look. And you're using a 15 millimeter here. Okay, so next thing you do is you let it drip until there is no oil uh, dripping anymore. And then you proceed to take your oil filter off. That's right there. So once you have a real steady or no drip from your oil pan, you go ahead and move your container over to the oil filter side. Be sure to put something, um, a towel or a piece of paper over by the oil pan so the remainder of the oil doesn't drip onto the cement or into the dirt. Um, this is the device you will need to be using to take off the oil filter. So once you got it loosened, you can go ahead and remove the rest of it with your hand. Make sure you hold your filter upright as it is right now because your filter will have oil and then go ahead and pour it down into and let it sit. Let your 
filter location drip and so to make your um, oil drip a little quicker I was recommended to open up your where you pour your engine oil in Alrighty, so now that you have no oil dripping from either your filter or your oil pan, the next thing you want to do is put a little oil inside of your oil container's cap. Dip your finger and make sure you lubricate this O-ring. The reason you lubricate it is so that it gets a nice seal and so when you're tightening it, it uh, seals without any wear and tear. Okay, so now that it's lubricated, you go ahead and pour the remaining oil back into your container. And now you're ready to install your oil filter. So now we're ready to install our oil filter. Go ahead and tighten it as much as you can with your hand and then I like to give it one good tightening with your oil tightener. Here. And that should be plenty. After you put your filter on, you go ahead and put your oil pan screw back in. Now we can go ahead and move our catch container out of the way here. And now we're ready to put our oil in. So after you put on your oil filter and oil filters or oil pan screw, we now go ahead and start pouring in our brand new oil. This particular model calls for uh, six quarts. Okay, so after I put about a quart in there, I always like to go back down underneath and make sure that I'm not dripping any oil from my filter or my oil pan. Other than that, your job is done. You go ahead and put your six quarts in and you go ahead and check underneath your vehicle to make sure you have no oil leaks make sure everything's tightened appropriately and put on your oil cap oil lid cap here um, and you're ready to go that is how you change your oil on a 2014 Ford Taurus limited thanks a bunch for watching my videos
I appreciate the subscribers that I have. Um, please subscribe to my channel for more videos and like the video. If you have any questions about a certain model, let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks a bunch.